Welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today we are going to discuss about a topic do we have the same genome in all cells of the body or how cells become specialized. We are made up of trillions of cells and all these arises from a single psychosis. Different types of cells like nerve cells, red blood cells, bone cells, muscle cells, etc. all arise from a single psychot by division. And all these cells differ in structure, function and morphology. The process is called as cell differentiation. Cell differentiation is the process by which genetically identical cells of an embryo become specialized to form specific function. But there are some questions still, do all these cells have the same genome? Yes, all these cells are having the same genome. The zygote give rise to complete organisms by the division called as mitosis. Mitosis is a division that is responsible for producing genetically identical cells. If we have the same genome in all these cells, why cardiac cells are different from muscle cells or muscle cells are different from neurons, how this is achieved? The process is called as cell specialization. Let's take an example to understand this concept. From the inner cell mass of embryo, all these cells arise by differentiation from these cells. So these cells differ in structure and function and all these cells have approximately contain, consists, contains approximately 20,000 genes distributed in 46 chromosomes inside the nucleus. Then what is the difference and what contributes to this difference? Let's take the example of RPC. All these cells have hemoglobin gene present in the nucleus, but this gene is not expressed in all these cells. This gene is expressed only in erythrocytes. So hemoglobin gene has a function in, our, in, in erythrocytes where the function is oxygen transport. So the gene is gene expression is based on the function or where the gene is expressed only when it is needed. The cell specialization involves preferential activation of specific genes or synthesis of some specific proteins like antibodies in plasma cells or hemoglobin in erythrocytes. Thanks for watching. This is biologyexamsforyou.com.